All right, and with uh, being back to school time, it's time to see uh, what's happening and start thinking about school bus safety. Yeah, 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith joining us live in Sterling Heights with more on this. Surrounded by the school buses I see there, Matt. Yeah, actually right next to the big old yellow school bus. We used to call them the bananas that went down the road when I was a kid. But here at Utica Community Schools, they have tons of them. Take a look down here. Dozens after dozens of cars. It's actually pretty impressive to see these things, and they're going to start firing up any minute now as we started to see the bus drivers get here to get those first classes ready. Those high schoolers, they're going to be heading back. But when you talk about school buses, you have to talk about school bus safety because when it comes to back to school, safety is the most important thing for all the school districts throughout our area. Just pay attention. Um, don't get distracted. Slow down. Inside the Warren Police Department, Lieutenant Cortland Larry tells me that this time of year, he's warning his officers to pay special attention to school zones and drivers in them. We will be enforcing any infractions that we see. Um, we take this very serious. Uh, school time, we want to make sure the children are getting to and from school safely. A big part of that? School buses. For years, the debate has raged about why most buses don't have seatbelts. Only six states require them, and Michigan is not one of them. Though the American Academy of Pediatrics and the National Safety Council have long pushed for regulations calling for seatbelts, the issue renewed after six kids were killed in Chattanooga just last year. And despite all the safety concerns that we're talking about, it is important to note that riding a bus is actually the safest way to do this. Even driving a personal car, it's more safe than that. Walking to school, it's more safe than that. In fact, Michigan State Police say that the safest thing for your child is to actually be on that school bus. In 2015, there were 915 school bus accidents across the state, and only one person died, that person in the other vehicle. For now, police will make sure drivers do obey the rules around the road, and specifically around school buses. You're required to stop within 20 feet of that school bus. Do not start back up until the school bus has started to move. Stay stopped. It's school bus safety is so important, but so is driving in school zones. Here's one that you might actually be a little bit rusty with. Did you know that it's a misdemeanor if you do not stop for a crossing guard when they tell you to inside of a school zone? And get this, it's an arrestable offense. We're talking about that and many more things coming up in just 30 minutes at the top of our 6 o'clock hour. We're live in Sterling Heights this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. Yeah, thanks, Matthew.